With rain and heavy winds persisting in the area over the past several days, some area residents are concerned about flooding and other types of weather-related damage. Pike County will continue to be under flood watch and high wind warning until 8 p.m. September 27th. Mountaintop News spoke with the National Weather Service in Jackson for a more in-depth breakdown. So the biggest thing is um, we have seen the rainfall. Fortunately, though, we're, we're, we're kind of seeing, as of right now on radar, we're no longer seeing um, rain developing. The, the bulk of the precipitation associated with Helene has moved through. Um, also, over the next hour or so, um, we're going to see those winds diminish as well. So we had really strong gusty winds, um, seeing winds gust up to 60 mile an hour in some places across eastern Kentucky. Um, fortunately, those winds are going to diminish over the next hour or two with uh, lingering effects of, of the rain that we're going to be seeing this weekend. We're not anticipating any um, flash flooding. Fall is here, but the heat is on at Appalachian Wireless. Get up to half off select devices on a new or renewed line on any Appalachian Advantage plan. Up to half off. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Though we aren't at risk of flooding, many hopes in Pike and surrounding counties are experiencing power outages. Once the weather clears up, crews will be able to restore power to residential areas. There's thousands of, of, of power outages across, and that's just because the wind with the wet soils has caused trees to go down. Um, that's, pretty, that's pretty consistent across much of the area. Uh, fortunately, those winds are going to diminish, and that is going to help power crews be able to get out and fix power lines, replace power lines, and and really get customers back with electricity. And that's going to take time. It's not going to be it's not going to be uh, overnight because there's we're getting reports here at the office of trees, whole uh, groups of trees being blown down by these by these winds. So it's going to take a little bit for the power companies to catch up. But fortunately, uh, the wind will diminish, and that will allow the power companies safely to go out and fix fix those power lines and get those get those uh, customers back with service. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.